over the past several hours and it's gave us an assistance as far as as far as humidity goes. We've certainly seen a bump up in comparison to those levels over the weekend. We're now at a 70% range in areas like Ramona, about 40, close to 40% or so as far as relative humidity uh, goes in the inland spots, including Poway as well as Kearney Mesa. And we're seeing a nice bump along the coastal areas. Uh, those clouds are also allowing for a really nice sunrise. We saw those purple pink hues. We're seeing a little less of it now, but but still a really nice view this morning. Uh, current temperatures right now really brisk out. So despite a really nice start to the day, as you step outside, you will notice that it is chilly. We're three degrees above freezing for areas like Ramona, sitting at 38 degrees in Escondido, 40s in spots like Poway, Kearney Mesa, as well as Vista. And not too much relief for the coastal areas where we're mostly in the scattered 30s and 40s, with the exception of La Jolla, one of our warmest areas, inching closer and closer to that 60 degree mark. Today would be a perfect perfect day for layers because despite waking up in the 40s, we're actually going to gradually climb to the 60s around 10 o'clock, eventually getting to the 70s for the inland valleys. And that's actually where we should be for this time of the year. That's closer to our 30 year average. Coastal areas will be in the mid to upper 60s. So everyone west of the mountains will be slightly cooler than yesterday, but will be slightly warmer for the mountains and desert areas. And that's typically what happens when we have the return of that onshore flow. We have those winds getting a little warmer, strengthening once they topple over the mountains, making its way to the eastern slopes as well as the desert areas. So we have that ridge of high pressure. It has flattened weekend, allowing for cooler air to persist all the way through Wednesday. But notice how we fast forward to Thursday and aloft we have high pressure that will redevelop over the Great Basin. And that's typically the classic setup for Santa Ana. So by Thursday, we'll have the return of offshore flow and that's going to start to warm things up. But as I mentioned for now, daytime highs will be near seasonal and will stay in that range all the way through Wednesday before climbing to the 70s on Friday all the way through the weekend. So soak up these really nice close to season seasonal conditions while we have them because west of the mountain areas will start to feel that warming as early as Thursday and notice how on Friday we'll actually get close to 80 degrees. In fact, as I open up this graphic here, oh, it's not allowing me to, but you get the picture. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s Friday and Saturday and we'll stay pretty warm all the way through the weekend. As we take a quick look at some of your highs for Friday, I wanted to pinpoint uh, that we'll be close to 80 degrees in El Cajon. We'll be at 76 in Ramona and mid to upper 70s in Escondido and the overnight lows will remain pretty brisk. Mountain areas will be in the low 60s. All of these temperatures are actually above seasonal. So despite looking cool, it's actually warmer than where we should be for this time of the year. Desert spots will be in the 70s all the way through Saturday and will inch closer to 80 degrees by Sunday. Jared. We'll be right back with a check of your top stories and one more look at the traffic this morning.